Hey there, folks. I'm Sirius JG. And I'm Zerval. And welcome back to Crossfire. Our guests today are a bunch of victims in cocoons. <laughs> let's find out what their opinions are on universal health care. It's actually uh, Let's Play Super Show Monster Story. And we are still... Uh, you chime in in the comments. I'm curious. Not about what your opinions are on, uh, you know, government-sponsored health care. I really... Really don't care, uh, one way or the other. But I am interested to hear who thinks the game's translators are legitimately like a right wing. Um, and by right wing, I mean anti-government health care. Just that's really all I mean. And who thinks that they're like taking the piss, as they say? Because I, I can't tell anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm really confused too. The other thing that I'm confused about is how much they decided that this was the topic it was going to be, or if there was some sort of Japanese political thing being mentioned. It wasn't in the same way, and they're like, I guess this is the closest American version. You threw that out there, and that's not, you know, that's not an unacceptable uh, reason to do this. I've seen, like, before where, you know, some anime thing where they, they try to, like, let's have a pun of, like, a similar, like, oh, the joke here is that this character is making feeble puns, and the other characters are, like, groaning, so let's, like, make similarly feeble puns. And, like, you'll see that, and then you'll see, like, the, like, oh, we must faithfully translate, in which case the situation doesn't make any sense at all. So, I, if they're doing that, then I guess, like, I owe them a mild apology. But, no, I can't shake this feeling that these guys are just, like, really, like, what can we do to strike a blow against those communists? <laughs> oh, I know what we'll do. We'll subvert them through our band translation of an obscure Japanese RPG. <laughs> I don't know which one I want to be true, but I am, I am again, I'm legitimately curious what other people think is going on. But I'm not curious what you think about government health care, so don't tell me. Anyway, <laughs> like if you think you agree with me because you think you know what I think, I don't care. Arrgh, people on this level are losing consciousness, Arrgh. Been here longer, oh, me arties. Is weakening. Uh, 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 genetic modification. Re, re, re. Re. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Too many re's, I can't. He's, he's, <laughs> he is suffering. He's restructured. Yeah. Uh, restructured people. That's Who all he had to say? these restructured people? At first, almost crazy. Now, very painful. Oh, almost cozy. Now, very painful. <laughs> that was struggling, by the way. <laughs> After I'm absorbed, what happens to my dentures? <laughs> okay, I I'm a dick. I'm going to say that before I even make my next comment. But for me, struggles... Um, I think the perfect way to, to do that, Zerfall, would be to try to say the word restructured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a dick, I know. Oh, there's monsters on this level. Monsters, but they don't see us. They're too busy, like, relishing the pain of these people. Yeah. Uh, hidden rooms search walls. Hidden rooms do search walls. Oh, to say, wow. If only we could search walls as those hidden rooms do. Uh, I'm about to burst open. Hurts. Ugh. Wait a minute. If he's about <laughs> to burst open, are we sure it's hurt? It's not hurts. I think it should be John Hurt. He's about to burst open. You either get it or you don't. Ugh. Horrible agony. Not the good kind of agony. Sadistic? What's that? <laughs> exactly. I, I don't want to die. Don't make me stand before a death panel. <coughs> Is this the end? Mm, it's just one and only friend. Uh, I'm hurting. <sighs> now fading away. I'm dying, boo. Walk through walls. <laughs> walls. The walls. Ah. See what the cat has to say. 
<laughs> I thought it was going to be like a skeleton, but no, it really is a cat. <laughs> Lucky started wanting after that. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Lucky. It's like, yeah, was, where's this cat? I, I, I can't move my anything anymore. My body dissolving. Oh, you wish, lady. You lose some weight. I'm begging you, Kukusho, rip her guts out. Mm -hmm. yeah, Lucky's really gonna get confused here. Oh, this is the end. Beautiful friend, the end. It hurts to let you free, but you'll never follow. We already did this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Time to search the walls. Where could it I be? I don't want to, like, advance forward. I'm wondering, like, oh, is this going to just lead to optional treasure, or is this the actual way to proceed? Looks like optional treasure. Kilo, open the treasure chest. Super, you found the beast plate. I hope that mm. belongs to who it sounds like it belongs to. Maybe finally take off the... Ah, yes, the wolf clothes can be replaced by the beast plate. Dan Severin. So I have a sneaking suspicion that the hidden places to search in the walls are only the, like, one or two spots that... Obviously There's holes in the wall. Like, yeah. Yeah. But if there is one place that's like that, that doesn't have those obvious holes, it's probably the one that contains the coolest, juiciest hidden treasure, so. The moistest of treasures. The moistest. Makes a squitching sound. Open the treasure chest. Super, you found the stealth mail. Hey, that might belong to our other little friend who hasn't gotten new armor recently. Yeah, it seems like this uh, place is just full of one piece of armor for everyone. And 420! Block Ooh. attacks every day! <laughs> okay, there appears to be a commercial on my TV right now for a Jetsons... Big show of WWE fame crossover. <laughs> I'm like, the Jetsons? Really? <laughs> They're coming back. Big time. Alright, so... Super, you found the full armor. Hmm. It's got all the armor. Super, you found alien penis monsters. Killa, open the treasure chest. Super, you found the steel lid. It looks like there's a save point, so things must be getting serious. Hey, look, there are Cabbage Patch Kids now. The cocoon has absorbed this person completely. They can no longer rail against universal coverage. Uh-huh. You never know if somebody will burst out and have, like, one little clue for us. <laughs> the Cahoon has absorbed this person 99.8% of the way. Yeah, I have to say, these alien, uh, these these villains have gotten a bit more convincing in their evil uh, recently. They used to just be so zany. Yeah. Hey, there, there's one that's... Tricked. I was deceived. Oh, whoa. Uh, ah, uh, Guju, uh, magic, no good, use force. Uh. Ooh, ah, oh, pop fresh too. Oh, actually, I think you. Person are going to get a genetic modification lies suspended in the liquid. Oh. Maybe we want to save in case, like, the center was not the way to progress. Yeah, I'm looking at this now here. Oh, no, I think these are all dead ends. 
We're gonna go and get our location. Let's spit it liquid. Oh, that's right. You've got Jap Zone open. Yes, I do. Yes, yes. As soon as they entered a scent of blood, assaulted their nostrils. This appears to be a surgical facility set up for genetic modification. Oh my god! Oh, the crazy woman is even worse than I imagined, baby. And I imagine some pretty crazy shit. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't know a thing about shoulder audience, the decency in our people, and wolves. Well, she knows something about the things in their people now, after all this. That's true. Ah, this is where Gujo turned good people into bad monsters. I'm sure she turned at least a few bad people into good monsters. I hope Avatar hasn't been harmed. Will he be okay? Oh. Will he still be a full man? Okay, okay. Oh, you gotta take this. Uh, yes, this is Charles. You must be dealt with by executing everyone involved. Oh, he really is. Starting a with the Avatar. He really is a conservative. So horrifying. I I'm swearing off booze. The rest of the day, but tomorrow I'm getting back into it. Well, <laughs> thank you, sir, for explaining the joke. <laughs> cool beyond what my senses can even fathom. But anyways, that's all I have to say. <laughs> the robot's just like, eh, I've seen worse. And usually, large monsters undergo a genetic modification. However, the experiment appears to have failed. The experiment needed a good test case, so we plucked him on the noggin and we shot him into space. Anyway, that's how that happened. Oh man, one of these days we're gonna run out of these godly treats. Someday, and that day may never come, I will ask, call upon you to get us additional godly treats. <laughs> What I love so, about that speech from Godfather is that the day does come, and the favor he asks of the guy is to do a miraculously good job of repairing his butchered son's appearance so they can have an open casket funeral for him. <laughs> that was the favor that the Godfather asked. Can you put my son's face back together sufficiently that we can have a funeral where his mother won't freak out? Okay, so I'm thinking... Um, we were told to look for hidden walls and shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as awesome as those treasures we got were, they weren't that great, so... Got oh, it. man! Got it on the first try! Oh, is there anything behind the other two? No. Okay, I don't want to bother fucking them. Oh, screw you, game. I'm going straight to the real path. It's got to be behind here, right? No, okay. You imagine getting stuck at this point because you didn't search behind this thing? Yeah, you just be like, oh, okay, it must be down on a different floor. Gujo, prepare to die. It was enough that you invaded invaders, seized citizens, senior citizens. When you trap people inside those cocoons, you sealed your fate. But you assured a quicker doom when you grabbed our friend Avatar. We've been chomping up forest trails, beating a path to your haunt. You haven't done anything, robot, so get over yourself. He's traveled through time and stolen a bridge. <laughs> now we'll eliminate you, save our friend, and go after your sadistic father. Sadistic? What is sadistic? Well, taste sadistic. I don't remember the new voice we gave this person. You oh, gave well. her like, you did, what, didn't you giving her like a girl voice? Or maybe you, maybe you didn't. <laughs> I think I thought it was someone else, and then when we found out who it was, I was like, she oh looks, well. She looks kind of like a jester. I guess you could give her some kind yeah. of female Baraba voice. <laughs> I don't know that there is a female Baraba voice. Galacta the robot. Galacta the robot, your antics never cease to amuse me. <laughs> I was hoping you bunch would arrive in time to join, but he's so stubborn. Damn it. I should have melted you back on the space vehicle. My bad. Sorry, Boo. Uh, indeed, I have to say, she would have strategically been smart to have melted us back on the space vehicle. Yep. And what's all this about saving friends? 
I still don't get it. That show ran its course and it was uh, taken off the air at just the right time. If they kept it on the air any longer, it would have only tarnished the show's legacy. <laughs> Machines can't have these emotions. Anyways, you're all dead. Anyways. Kind of turn. An alien savior? A robot who acts and speaks like people? What's going on? Dogs and cats living together? Total <laughs> anarchy. What's going on, Holmes? You, you robot! Why are you staring at me with such lifelike eyes? Stop it! Oh, oh I found these on a monster. He must be one of those like Japanese robots that you read about every so often, where it's like if a reason, like a reasonable effort, or at least you can tell what they're stabbing at with creating an android that looks like an eight-year-old girl and just kind of stares. At you. you see, you read these articles about it, it freaks you out. They stare into your soul. Into your soul. I'm gaping at you because I've never seen such a pathetic person. Damn, <laughs> robots talk is sass. Oh, oh, shut your mouth, you insolent robot. You're just an animated puppet. Why would you bother to animate a puppet if you're going to draw a cartoon? Why would you make it a puppet? <laughs> yeah, we'll fight and I'll take the whole lot of you to school. You'll see. You see, question mark? I scoff at your ideas of loyalty based on friendship. Arbor aberration. It's friendship aberration. Your overconfidence is your weakness, evil lady. Your faith in your friends is yours. I'll demonstrate where you've gone wrong. Just how foolish you are. You'll learn these are just empty, useless concepts. We'll start with my pets. You'll learn that my pets are empty, useless concepts. Well, once we beat them, we'll know that for sure. Yes! Defeat my favorite monsters first! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Do that and we'll see. I won't break a sweat on unworthy opponents. But if you beat my creations... Yeah, I'll fight you. You'll get my full attention. Ho-ho-ho! <laughs> Wink. Merry Christmas. All right. Newbie! Begeth, beat him down to fill my cylinders. Fill, you know, it's fit my cylinders, but fill my cylinder sounds awfully, awfully saucy. So it looks like we got a little preliminary boss battle with an adorable, adorable palette swaps of enemies that were already adorable. <laughs> These enemies are totes adorbs. So let's go with the good old... Man, that 12 times 1. You really wanted me to use that. Uh, I want it to work. I know. I know the feeling. Especially if we get um, Sweet Cheeks McGee to cast the like double attack first. Yeah, but man. But camouflage. Crazy. Final Claw. It's suddenly a thunderstorm here. And the dog suddenly decided he didn't need to fight me anymore. Speed up. And, um... Oh, status. Two times attack. One. Mm. Well, I see, and I'm wondering if it just doubles their attack. Yeah. Like, it might not be two attacks, but it might be twice the... attack power or something? I don't know. Bang. He has even less hit points now than before when using it. So either there's like a range, or the higher hit points, the more you lose. Mm. Poison mist. Oh, that's no fun. I had some friends when I was younger that uh, their parents required them to not say things were unfair. Especially when it was things like, hey, you have to go make your bed before you can go and play with your friends. Oh, that's not fair. And they'd be like, yes, yes it is. So they, they would start saying that's no fun. That's no fun. That's not fair. And their parents couldn't argue with that. They'd be like, you know, you're right, it's not, but go do it. Alright, I'm going for a counter, because why not? Oh, let's see how it goes. See, I really want her to have an attack that heals um, everyone for a minor amount. Now, this other description of Rebuster is two times melee attack, single ally, so... Millie? 
Yeah. Vanilli? Mele. Oh, Mele. Well, that makes sense. Potentate Pedro! Luck down. So, the guide suggests that we make sure we kill Newbie first, but I think we're doing a pretty good job of killing them both at the same time. And, you know, and in the full interest of full disclosure, I was playing around with this a little bit uh, off screen and got to this fight, and one of them can revive the other. So I mm. took them out on the same turn after that, but didn't really find out if that was needed or just, you know. I think that uh, Newbie can heal the other one, but not vice versa. Ah. But which one's newbie? They're both plants. This one's newbie. No. Yeah. yeah, he's a bit of a newbie. I think it's like it's like newbie as in the animal, you know, a bee. <laughs> We've made a more powerful bee. This one has flowers on its head so it doesn't have to go find them. You know, this poison, I guess we actually could take the time to get rid of the poison attacks. You could be restraining it. HPs. So let's see if he actually isn't poisoned anymore when his turn comes up. Now, see this. Um, oh, I guess we oh, will. Well, I guess it's not going to matter. This, uh, the life swap that he has, where he sacrifices himself to revive an ally, seems like the worst skill. I guess as a, if it gives him all their life back and it's a helm ready to get your white mage, but like. Most games that have that sort of sacrifice, it's like, oh, sacrifice yourself to bring back everyone that's currently dead. I guess if, like, Edward the Bard had it, it would be useful because everyone's better than he is. Gary Rose, level 64, baby. Just wait till I reach level 69. And... Kyra rises level 63. McGee. Oh, this is actually really handy because I, I have a feeling we're about to fight that boss. If everybody, yeah. Well, almost everybody leveled up, so they'll all have, like, full hit points. Poor killer. He's a waste of space. <laughs> so, if I'm the proper host now, my time of waiting wasn't wasted. You've earned it. I'm all yours. It's time for your basic reality check. Subjective reality no longer exists, lady. Facts you don't agree with are lies. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I wouldn't kick her out of bed for turning me into a, you know, goo that his particles are absorbed by Gyabfar. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, so... so she Why is she not a foot person? Is she like the... Oh, God. So is she like the daughter of Gyabfar, or is she like an extension of Gyabfar, or what the fuck is Well, there, uh, from what I understand, um, there's Gyabfar, there's his daughter, and then there's the, the unholy ghost. But they're all actually the same person. <laughs> Jesus is pretty good. <laughs> I'm not sure there's any reason to not use Final Claw every turn. It doesn't seem to be. So we are going to heal our uh, good friend um, Ninja Boy uh, all the way. That is his name. That is his name. And, uh... Although he's the dandiest of ninjas. The dandiest ninja of all. Oh, damn it. Why did you go before him for, like, the first time ever? Icicle murder. This boss has been pretty nasty in the past, actually. Well, she takes damage from it. It's not like the way that like they appeared to split apart completely made me feel it was like some kind of missable thing. But mm -hmm. you no, know, doesn't seem like it. You like icicle murder? Eh? <laughs> I'll show you real icicle and real murder. Bada bang. Where's bada bang? Bada bang is here. Bottabang's not what I actually want, though. I want Geekabang. Yep. Oh, nice! I think that was, like, the, the impact of the spell. Now, we'll see if he does it more than once in a row. Alright. 
Oh, we got a clue not to use magic on this lady, so. You can't mimic him, he just did a basic attack. This won't do anything. They told us magic no good must use force, so. Should have been listening. Yep. Well, I guess we can, uh. Well, if he's always using the final claw, I don't think he'll be able to, uh. double up his attack. Oh, but he's getting double attacks anyway. Hmm. So I wonder if we, we don't can, even know think, if it's doing anything. Maybe we can get double lucky. Double lucky? How much squeakiness would that involve? <laughs> so I don't know if she really has support spells. Like she got one or two like healing type spells. Nothing that really. Oh, defense down is probably useful. He's got attack up. Mmm, that'll be good. Good with multiple attacks happening. Got the block down on lockdown. Give mm. us back the avatar, you bitch! Oh, you know what? I'm making her cast support spells, but she's like. She's not a terrible attacker. She's kind of mediocre. Oh, that's true, yeah. And if she got all the boosts that have just been applied to uh, Killa as well, she might be getting double off attacks and everything. Uh, he's, his hit points are low. I probably should be uh, healing up a bit, but... But no. who cares? We are 5,000 experience. That's less experience than we got from the last guys. Well, there's two of them. I but. guess. But they, hey, maybe we and just actually won, they weren't much weaker. Maybe we unexpectedly just won the game and we never fight Gab far. I mean, you never know. Although all dragon would be upset, like you know, zero experience, zero gold, because just because it's the final boss and there's no chance to use the experience, still a ripoff. <laughs> yep. Picked up 2,300 pearls, which isn't really that much either. That 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 I could lose to such small fry as you. How humiliating! It is humiliating, but we're sadistic. So, <laughs> what is that? Why do you guys keep saying that? I'll remember this next time we meet. I'll vivisect you, worthless vermin. Are you like the Dark Queen suddenly? <laughs> Battle jerks. <laughs> well done, everyone. La Flor and the rest of these mutant plants will wither. However, Gujo ran away, and she knows all about Shell Monster Island. Wait, oh no. what? What does that mean? I guess we'll have to tune in next time to find out. I guess I'm saying that we're saving. <laughs> 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 so yes, next time, folks, we'll find out why does Gujo know all about Shell Monster Island? Um... And if so, why didn't she already communicate it to Gyabfar, considering that she's spoken, literally spoken to Gyabfar since the last time anything happened that I can think of that would have given her knowledge of Shell Monster Island? Maybe she absorbed it when she was, you know, sucking out people's health care. I don't know. I'm the Mysterious <laughs> JG. I'm Zerfall. We want to thank you guys very much for watching, and we hope you'll join us next time for more of Super Shell Monster Story. Be there, gumshoes!